I pushed it. My stream is messing up now? What? Connor! Uh, and every night that you're able to be here in the living room and here with me is a blessing to me. I am thinking about you, actually, and just hoping that you're having a good day, a productive day, maybe. Um, how are you doing? How's everything going? Unfortunately, I think Streamlabs is giving the blues, you guys. If I have to... And sometimes it kills the stream and I have no idea that it killed it. So if I have to come back on, uh, just know that I'll come back on as quickly as possible. And I apologize in advance, but I can't control the technology. So I hope that you guys just please be patient with me. But again, Connor, I don't know if you missed it. I was told that my stream was going in and out. But every single night that you're here and you're able to hang out and uh, just be in the living room and here with me, it really means a lot to me. And I just wanted to make sure that you knew that. And everybody out there in the living room as well. Um, but yeah, you guys, mwah, welcome back to the living room. I am L.A. Sherbalicious. Uh, that's how the first name is pronounced is L.A. Uh, kind of like this city in Los, uh, uh, the city named Los Angeles. But uh, anyway, um, that's the easiest way to tell people to pronounce it. Sometimes I get L.E. Sometimes I get L, which is actually the proper, proper pronunciation in English pronunciation in English. Hey, how are you doing? Um, thank you, Heather, for liking my stream and sharing it. You are my nerf herder. Mwah. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so Connor says going to go, uh, watching the Grinch and just waiting to go on Christmas break. I'm off the 18th till January 2nd. Gosh, Connor, I wish I could tell you when I was off, but I'm really excited that you're going to be off from the 18th to the 2nd. What are you going to do with yourself? Do you have any good plans? Anything? Go play some racquetball or hurry up and join a gym like everybody else? Or actually, you won't be able to join a gym probably, huh? I mean, if they lock things down tight, I have no idea. You guys will learn that generally I don't watch the news, so I miss a lot of commercials. I miss a lot of current events. Um, but for me, this is how I handle stress. And, and, and some people say, oh, you're just avoiding it. But I know that I will eventually get hit with it intermittently. And so I'm just, I guess, as I get hit with it is when I'll deal with it. But I don't like to feed it every day. You know what I mean? So... Anyway, yeah, so I miss out on a lot of things. Um, so much relaxing over break. Yes, I'm glad to see that. Man, I don't know, relaxing for me anymore. What is relaxing to you? Like, what do you find is really relaxing to do? Uh, anybody out in the living room, what do you guys like to do when you're relaxing? Um, for myself, when I'm relaxing, <coughs> pardon me, um, I don't know. I either play games on my phone or I'll surf social media, which is so basic, right? Or I'll play games on my computer <laughs> or look at social media. <laughs> like, what do you guys do for relaxation? Am I outmoded? I don't watch. Oh, thank you, Keith Morell, for sharing my stream. You, my nerf herder. I always appreciate and love when you share my stream. Thank you so much. Seriously. Mwah. Seriously. Um, but yeah, so when I'm relaxing, like, what do you guys do to relax? I don't watch movies or watch television often. I do, but, um, sometimes really the reason is because I'm so tired. And so I feel like it'll watch me more than I'll watch it. Yeah. So I want to make sure to maximize the time that I get to enjoy, you know, when I'm awake and I don't know about you guys, but I have too many things to do and I don't have enough hands or eyes. Like I want to surf and game. Yeah. And then I want to read and game and communicate. Yeah. And then I want to do art and I want to do, learn some more about digital graphic media. And then I want to clean up my place, you know, or then I want to, I want to do so many things at once. There's only that many hours in a day. I'm going to have to figure out a way. Maybe perhaps if I do 30 minutes of everything, like write it down, yeah, and then maybe do like 30 minutes for this and set a timer. And then when it dings, I'm like, okay, I'm still feeling productive. Let me do this. Oh, maybe I'll do that. 
the L.A. Sherbalicious method of getting things done. I think that I like that the way that sounds. Yes, yes, yes. But um, I will. I'll try that. And I'll let you guys know what I think about, uh, from my personal experience, if that's a way to get things done better uh, when, you're, when you're easily persuaded to uh, <laughs> do something else. Um, let me see here. Connor says, TV and just the comfort of my room. Also, nothing beats the first day of a break where you just sit and think about how much time, or think of how much time you have to relax. And it brings me so much comfort. And Heather says, I just play games on my phone. And Heather says, or TikTok. Ah. Oh. Okay, so Connor, I agree. When you think, when you think about how much time you have to relax, like, that's why I like to take my naps. Like some people laugh at me and say that I take old lady naps <laughs> and you guys know who you are. Um, but an old lady nap to me is just like, really I'm celebrating the day because I'm able to take a nap. There are people who would be like, so like, and when I was a kid, I used to fight the nap, you know, like, I'm not tired. I'm not. So, but yeah, I got over that. <laughs> and then there were time. There was a time where I didn't take any nap because I was like, I'm going to miss what's going on in the day, whatever it is. And this is before social media. What did I think I was going to miss? No clue. Yeah, no clue. So then I started realizing like I was hustling because I was working in, and uh, let me see. Amber, hi, how are you? Welcome to the living room. Uh, I'm L.A. Sherbalicious, and uh, I just wanted to welcome you. Um, if you're not, oh, and I wanted to say to everyone, don't forget to hit the like and the share and the subscribe and the follow, whatever platform you're looking for. Say hi, click those ways to follow so you'll get that notification. Huh? Ah, my stream is messing up. So I'm being told my stream is messing up. Please forgive me because it's, it's stream labs. It's not me. Anyway, so Amber, great to have you here in the living room and anyone else who's here that's new. Welcome. Um, but, uh, how are you guys doing? What's going on? What brings you to the living room? Um, uh, and again, my name is L.A. Sherbalicious, and uh, I'm just a variety streamer, and I like to talk about different things. Right now, Connor and Heather were telling me like th what they like to do to be relaxed for the day. And like for me, I was just saying that I'm pretty low-key. Like I like to listen to music and sing along really, really loud, like so songs that I love. Um, there are a few songs that I love to rock out to, and it, I'm not even ashamed about it. Uh, Seven Dust is the group that I like to listen to. Actually, not like, love, love to listen to. If anyone knows anyone that's a member of Seven Dust, like, please just, just give them my link, please. Um, that would mean so much to me because Seven Dust, I love so hard and so much. Like, if they would let me put my mu their music on my stream, I would be in heaven. I love them so hard, you guys. But anyway, <laughs> I've always loved Seven Dust, just putting that out there. Um, but anyway, so like I said, those are things that I do. I'll get up on a Saturday, for example, on a lazy day. Oh, thank you for sharing my stream, Keith Morrell. You my nerve herder. Mwah. But um, so on Saturday mornings, I like to get up and make breakfast. Like I never have time to make breakfast, yeah? But so I like to get up at like around nine o'clock. You know, you kind of slept in a little bit, but not too much to lose the morning. And then um, at, at nine o'clock, I'll get up and sometimes, but you know, when you live alone, life is beautiful. So, uh, you know, you go in there, you make your breakfast and then you sit down, you, the whole time you've had your music on. Yeah. And it's your playlist. It's your most epic playlist that has the best songs that you know, all the words to. Right. And so that's absolutely what I have blasting. You're welcome neighbors. Um, but so anyway, while I'm listening to that, I'm cooking and moving around, doing some dance moves. I am a professional dancer when I'm at home by myself. And it doesn't help that there's a mirror right there. And I have it arced so that I can see myself when I'm dressed to see, make sure everything's, you know, all good, you know. And what look at the back of your head because people will see you going, you know, ladies. Just always remember when you're styling your hair, look at the back part too. Yeah, because you can see this, but... When pe when you leave the room, people will see that. And if you don't know anything about the back of your head, girl, I'm so sorry. But you have for me to tell you and you to say, like, you know, hey, I didn't know. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Heather, Connor, and anyone else who's in the living room, uh, Amber, 
of course. Uh, what are you guys doing today? Did you guys have good days today? Like what what went on in today land for you guys? I was planning the epic next parts of my stream coming up on Monday. No, sorry. Coming up on Tuesday, I will finally, they say, have my lighting delivered. And so it's nothing big, nothing drastic, but it's much. Oh, and I am coming in okay. Let me see something. So I don't have one of my lights on. And uh, I thought it would pixelate really badly, but it's not, it's not even fist fighting me. Let me get the stick of truth. <laughs> it helps me reach my camera or the lighting. This is so wonderful. Uh, let me see if this makes a difference. I'm hoping not to drop this light. It's preca precariously placed. Okay, I'll have to tap it. There we go. <laughs> well, I think it filled in a few shadows, right? But I don't think it really made a big... Um, what was I talking about? talked about when I get up and I on Saturday and then I dance around and and oh yeah the mirror that I have on the floor so anyway I have it so that I can see if I look all right but you have to admit that when you're here and you're dancing around then it's okay like you start dancing and you're like oh hey I look all right <laughs> or that's an audience of one where you've got your microphone and you're just like so anyway, that's me. And then um, what else do I do? So for the rest of the afternoon, I just kind of either veg out and read. And um, I've gotten to where I read on my Kindle. Um, I love physical books, don't get me wrong. But the, the um, Kindle and the Amazon, they make it really quick and accessible for you to change out. When you finish one book, like I read very quickly. So sometimes when you finish one book, you forget, I mean, uh, you don't, want to go to the bookstore and go get the next book, you can just go online. And when you can go online, hold on, I can't talk and sing at the same time. Here we go. I was like, where is my... <laughs> yes. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I, I'll sit there and read and listen to music and then like think about what I'm going to do with this setup and how I'm going to include the kitchen area or the cooking area. So this is like some stuff that I've got going on right now. I'm very excited about it. And if you guys have trouble getting started on doing something, my most immediate advice would be to start on it for five minutes, just for five minutes. It, it, it doesn't matter if it's, or, or, you know, if something equivalent to five minutes, like, uh, for example, the dishes in the sink. So I have no dishwasher. I bust the suds and, um, yes, but that gets on my nerves. So I hate doing dishes. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, so if I just wash those cups that are right there, then I'm good. Yeah. But no, it's not always the truth. All she had to do was just be quiet. Uh. Oh, y'all, every time I was here in the living room, I just wanted to let you know that I'm very flattered. Uh, it's Sunday night and we are going to be playing Dead by Daylight today. And uh, hopefully I'm going to make an escape at some point. You guys, I need energy from the living room. Help me do this. But most importantly, I'm very glad that you guys are here. Connor is about to enjoy some, some winter break, which I'm very excited about. And, uh, man, I think I'm supposed to have some days off. I better check the uh, campus calendar. <laughs> um, I'll have to see. Man, I think I'm supposed to have some days off. You just, you just made me think of that. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see here. We've got different uh, rituals that we can do. Chase survivors. So that's a killer one. All right, let's trash that. Oh, what am I doing? I don't play this with this. I do it with the keyboard. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, but let me plug in my phone. You guys, I'm a hot mess on a cold skillet. You know what I'm saying? Just hot mess. Let me get myself together. All right. You know what, though? I have caught this phone at 1% more than once. And um, it 
it died on me just this one time after I don't know how many one percents I've gone through with it but uh, the other day I was sitting there and I was like oh shit one percent and I plugged it in and it died right at the millisecond that I plugged it in I was tried oh I was so wrecked I was like no like it was my lost friend it's not like I have to sit there and like generate electricity to make it go I just have to do it for Peter's sake okay so with the hillbilly chainsaw, no, I don't want. With the huntress, no. Sabotage the equivalent of four hooks. Is this for, these are for, uh, killers. Oh, you guys, you can sabotage the hooks? Oh my gosh, I did not know that. You can sabotage the hooks? I gotta write this down because I'm gonna try it. Watch. No idea. Of course it makes perfect sense. Let me see here. Okay, so I need a first aid kit. Yes. I need the tarnished coin. No. This. Yes. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay, so is that it? Yes. Generally speaking, if you've got less than a, like 3,000 blood points, like nothing is cheaper than 3,000 usually. Four, 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 three, five, five, three. Yeah, there's nothing that's less than three. So if you look up and you can't do anything else and that's what it is, let it be. Oh, sweet William Satchet. What was the one that will reveal... This one will reveal... One of these was supposed to reveal the... the presence of the uh, the creature okay tremendously increases the chance of spawning the hatch in the main building if the map has a main building a clever design that has the letter V etched in the bottom huh Okay, so I'm wondering about that one. I would try that because if the hatch opens for me, reveals the aura of the basement hooks to you for 20 seconds. No. Yes, yes. Each of these offers something. Sometimes it offers something and I'm just like, what's the benefit? Like this one, tremendously increases the chance of spawning the hatch in the killer shack. Oh, wait, I didn't read that. Let's do that. Yes. Okay, I read that totally differently. <laughs> okay, tremendously increases the chance of spawning in the basement in the killer shack if the map has a... Why would I want to spawn in a killer shack? You want to spawn as far away from him and the... Okay, anyway, so I have my first aid kit. I've got my offering, and let's go. Oh, but so you guys, today I made spaghetti for lunch. Spaghetti is so delicious and delightful, and I like to make spaghetti sandwiches out of it. How many of you like to make spaghetti sandwiches? Oh, let me look at the time. All right. When I'm waiting for a game, sometimes it takes forever, and so I feel like it takes forever. But if I keep an eye on the clock, then I can tell if it does or if it's just me. But I'm ready, and we're looking for a match. So here we go. Um, anyway, so I made spaghetti, and um, let me see if I can. I did take pictures of it, so I'm going to. I'm going to send you guys a picture of my spaghettis. Wait. Well, I wouldn't have to send it to you. I could just, we could just look at it. Okay, so, but anyway, so yes, spaghetti. Uh, what did you guys have for dinner tonight? Or are you still planning your dinner? If you haven't had dinner yet, what are you going to have for dinner? Spaghetti. Yeah, are you guys still playing? Some of you guys are in. Oh, back to the living room. Mwah. How are you doing? So good to see you. I'm glad you're back up in her. Um, we were just talking about dinner. What did you make for dinner? Or have you already had dinner? Or are you still planning dinner? Mm -mm. So anyway, I'm trying to look for a good picture of my, um, I took like a hundred pictures of my spaghetti and I want to make sure to show you how many minutes. Oh, it's just been two minutes. Okay. 
But so anyway, I'm trying to look for a good picture of the spaghetti so that I can send it to you guys. Or so I can pull it up for you guys. Oh. I know. Cancel. Okay, here we go. Okay, so while we're waiting, guys, we're going to have a look at my dinner spaghetti. And um, let me see here. All right, so here it is right here, you guys. Totally saucy spaghetti. Let me tell you something about spaghetti. Okay, first of all, I love it to be chock full of meat. I didn't stir it right because I, I did one stir with that curvy spoon and it brought all the pasta up and then it put all the sauce and the meat at the bottom. But I did add some more um, tomato paste to it so that it will cling to the, to the spaghettis. This is like just the first picture I took right whenever I, I finished it. It was in the pot. The pot was looking all clean-ish uh, around the edges. So like, you know, presentation. So delectably good, seriously. Like, I got some Parmesan cheese, and I sprinkled it on there, and I about assassinated it. It's not very great, but yes. Oh, yeah, we were looking yesterday so that I wouldn't miss this. We're going to go ahead and have this up, but have it in a smaller screen. There we go. That way I don't miss it. And it kind of looks like she's kind of looking at... <laughs> kind of looks like, but yes, I'm, I'm really just being fancy about my spaghetti, y'all. Um... Anyway, anyway, oh, and then I heard about something today that somebody had posted. Okay, so the post was, would you eat this? Can we get this up? Open image in a new tab. There we go. Oh, I'm trying to make it full screen. What is wrong with me? So anyway, this is the food, you guys. And it looks really good to me. I'll try to expand this a little more. Okay, so anyway, the question was, would you eat this? My response is, what kind of a question is that? Like, can we find out what this is? And make it? And consume it? Like, how delicious does that look, you guys? Okay, so anyway, I looked it up. Because they said the name of it, and so I looked it up, right, yeah? And what it is, is the name Birria Tacos, right? So, apparently what that is, is that they are, if you haven't heard of them, oh, my game just started. Oh, darn it, you guys, I'll be right back with the food. Birria, maybe Birria, not Birria, I'm ready. Farticus, yes! These nuts, Farticus, and AK Master Tiger. And here I am as, I guess, Sherbalicious. That's sweet. <laughs> Farticus. It's Farticus. It's an I. Farticus. Maybe it was taken, though, so he had to go with Farticus. Okay, what's this one? Grants. Oh, they didn't bring the blueprint, I guess. Okay, guys, so anyway, um, ooh, the nightmare. This is who it is. The nightmare's dream snares and dream pallets are effective against sleeping survivors. Interact with your highlighted alarm clock to wake up. Using the alarm clock will pause the sleep timer for 30 seconds before beginning to... What? Using the alarm clock will pause the sleep timer before beginning to fall asleep again. Oh, so I have to try not to be persuaded to fall asleep. Huh. I'm going to have to um I'm going to have to look at this. Okay, here we go. Lampkin Lane in Haddonfield. Oh, Keith Morell, thank you for sharing my stream again. Mwah. You are so awesome. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Wait, where's Walk and Crouch? Where's the first light? There's one. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Okay, you guys, if you hear the heartbeat, that means that that mofo is there. Hey, what's up? I hear him. Oh, no. Did he put me to sleep? Where's my sleep timer? I think I got hit with something. Oh, bam it. I always mess up. Oh, shit. We got to stick together, man. He's probably like, get away from me. Oh, man. Hold on. My hand position somebody over there so I can run back over here. Run. Why are you crouching? Oh, there's Run. Uh-oh. Somebody got me in a nightmare. He's over there. Dang it. And there you are over here. Is he down in the building? Oh, Shiza. Okay, don't F up the skill checks. Ah, don't mess up the next guy. Oh, I messed it up. Jaida. Keep going. Holy shit, just crouch. Don't move, just crouch. Oh shit, shit. No, it's Freddy! Not the Kruger. Run! Run! No! It was Freddy Kruger. Okay, so the nightmare is Freddy Kruger. Shit. Oh, I wanted to play this game so bad. Let me run. At least run. I hope you get a hernia. I hope you hurt. I hope your whole soul just gets. Oh, you get on my nerves. Don't you camp on me. Go away, Freddy. Run, dudes! Oh, there you are. Hey, Will. You're good. You're good, dude. Oh, man. Let's go run and, and heal ourselves. Why do you guys insist on running down here and do... Oh. Oh, shit. I feel like I see some shadows moving upstairs. <gasps> I wonder if Will's in that locker. Oh, I can hear the heartbeat, y'all. Where? Why is he so close to me? Oh, he's right there. Oh, there he is. Oh. Do I leave yet? No, I can still hear it. Do you guys hear the heartbeat? Steve says, haven't done anything today but lift weights. I asked FB for a post-workout dinner idea. The choices are burgers, pasta, or pizza. Oh my goodness, Steve. So what did you decide on? How do you get out of this?
How do you what? Oh, I did a good skill check. Where? Okay, so anyway, I am just freaking out right now. Where's these nuts? Never thought I would have to say that, but where is these nuts? Is there another light or lantern I need to get to? Oh shit. Oh shit, you done brought trouble over here! You done brought trouble! Oh no. Oh, I can go get you. Where did you go? Oh, I got hit with a nightmare. Oh, Shiza. I hope it falls off of me soon. Uh-oh, I see somebody who was upstairs. Oh, no! That motherfucker's right behind me. <laughs> run, 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 run! As fast and as hard as you possibly can. Get away from me, you nightmare. How come I can't sprint? This is what I hate, you guys. You can't freaking sprint. I hope I'm a long way from any hook, but I feel like I'm just right around the corner from one. They place these hooks, like, so quickly and closely. I hate you. Ah. Uh, Freddy. Nobody's impressed with your little flashy, knifey fingernails. Aw, oh, man. Now I have to struggle to stay alive. Maybe somebody might be able to come get me. Oh no! No! Oh, my life is deceased, you guys. Dang it! So, anyway, I got a, a hundred plus points for that. I was the first one to bite it. I feel so sad about that. That is not an achievement. Okay, so it said tier two was unlocked. So, Steve, I didn't see a response. What'd you do? Burgers, pasta, or pizza? Or so, oh, none of the above. Uh, I hope that the stream didn't drop it. Um, so I earned something. I think I earned something. I think I did. Um, well, I guess it said... Uh, well, it can't have said current tier two. Unless, I don't know what it is. Oh, and he may not have a killer charm, any character. So I guess there's not a, a survivor one. Or did I get something? This one. No. I don't know what that is. Hit six survivors, so it'd have to be either this one or it would have to be... Repair a number of... Four. I said this one the other day, didn't I? Okay, so... Oh, Steve, you are there. And you thank you for the share. How are you doing? I'm glad that you're... I don't know where it went. But yeah, so I was just checking back with you for the burgers, pasta, or pizza. Which one did you decide on? And thank you for the share. You're my nerf herder. I really appreciate that. Mwah. Thank you so much for sharing it. I appreciate that very much. Um... The general consensus seems to be burgers. Yeah, burgers sounds so good, but pizza sounds good too. And usually, I was saying before, when I get pizza, I'll eat like the first slice. And to me, the best part of the pizza is that, that point in the center. Like I kind of fold bite that. And then after I eat that first slice, um, I'm good. I, I scalp the rest of the pizza. I just take the toppings off and I don't... <laughs> I don't necessarily eat the rest of it, so that's always good, yeah? But that's what I do. But burgers sound good, too. Well, how would you make it or just plain burgers? Would you do anything fancy today? If you know how to make a garlic aioli, those are always good with burgers, so just FYI. And then um, what I do to uh, garlic aioli is I add a dash of soy sauce to it. 
Just a dash. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, I'm sure that you've got already something that's delightful. But that's generally what I do is I'll go for, oh, what is this? Look at Canimations hosting my stream. Thank you. Mwah. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. But thank you very, very much. That is so very awesome, Canimations. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and share. Um, depending on the platform i am there uh, i've got twitch i've got facebook and i've got uh youtube so uh, be sure to go to my facebook i've got those listed out and um i need to update my links i'm just thinking right now so just so you guys know i will have that on my facebook page so uh please make sure you check uh also i think i have to update my twitch page and my youtube page so i have to update but my youtube page is very recent so uh if you guys need what the link is for what, then just let me know and I'll type it in. Yay! You're the real MVP, Canimations. Thank you for hosting my stream. Wow, I feel... I hope I don't disappoint. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I think I got mm -mm -mm, as many points as I'm supposed to get. Now, why is it that I can't? I guess this must be. I thought that I had already approved or wanted to do some other something such. I have no idea. Oh, Steve says, nothing fancy this time. Lettuce, tomato, mayo, cheddar, and an entire jalapeno. Hala. You know, and I'll tell you guys, I was once told by a person who spoke fluent Spanish that there is no uh in the Spanish language. <laughs> so I was like, well, okay. <laughs> and they said, it's not jalapeno, it's jalapeno. And I was like, oh, okay, and it's not guacamole. It's there. There is no uh in the Spanish language. And so is what I'm told. I don't know this on the gospel now. But um, anyway, it was a fluent Spanish speaker. So they were just like, yeah, it's jalapeno. It's guacamole. It's uh, quesadilla. It's not quesadilla. Um, quesadilla. So I just remember, like, if I smile when I say it, then I won't say it incorrectly, right? So jalapeno, quesadilla, uh, guacamole. <laughs> it's hard to say, uh, and maybe with the bacon. Is this, is this really Steve or is this somebody in his house? Maybe bacon. Maybe. What? Is there a maybe when you say bacon? Do those belong in the same sentence? I'm, I'm slightly offended. I don't know what to say. You better make that bacon. <laughs> you had better make that bacon. I, in fact, I, in, I empower you to make that bacon and enjoy the shit out of it. All right, so let me go back because I don't think that current tome. Go back. I think that's all the points I could get. I didn't see anything else. Okay, so I've got 7,655, 765. Um, is there a path to a healing anything? A rainbow map. Hmm. I'll take that. This one looked, it, it looked, uh, Interesting. A piece of parchment made out of oddly fresh skin. Blood on its edge has yet to dry. It's rolled up and sealed with multiple colored ropes and cords. Um, <clears throat> holding and channeling the map unlocks great potential on one's aura reading ability, which slowly burns up the map. Objects with auras, which you have already encountered, are revealed to you as far as long as the map has charges left. For as long as the map has charges left. 20 seconds of use. Start with three objects automatically tracked. 
unlocks the ability to track objectives. I didn't know there were objects and objectives. What in the what? Apparently there's a scientific portion of this that I had no idea about. All right, so 665 left, let's go. My lead out is the blueprint and my item. Should I use the rainbow map? I've got two. I don't know, should I? Unlocks the ability to track the killer's belongings within an eight meter range. Unlocks the ability to track the exit gates within an eight meter range. That sounds promising, but it only has 20 seconds of use. What's this one? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a first aid kit because I know I'm gonna need one and I'm ready. I have my, my loadout my offering. So this will tremendously increase the chances of spawning the hatch in the killer shack if the map has a killer shack. <clears throat> I'm surprised that this is still here and that it didn't take the last time. Very, very unusual. Anyway, <laughs> maybe there's no maybe anymore. I hope that you make that bacon and enjoy it. I have some, I made bacon the other night. Yeah. And, uh, let's see, do I want to share a picture of that? Cause I know I just made that. Uh, and I took a picture too, you know, <laughs> sometimes I try to remember that I don't, that I do want to take a picture and share it. Most of the time though, I'm really a private person, so I don't really, like I'll send it to my friends, but I won't send them like, I won't necessarily be like, look, I made bacon, you know, like, and there's a, here it is. And I, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. But, oh, it was so good. I guess that looks pretty good. I'll send it right now. Okay, so how come it didn't just go there? Hold on just a moment. Oh, because I didn't open it in the app. My bad. Oh, that's not it. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Send. Oh, it looks so good. I'll, I'll send two pictures of it. So anyway to have a look at my bacon from the other day, Steve. And this is Sam's Club bacon. So just so you know, it's the Cherrywood Smoked, uh, I'm sorry, Applewood Smoked uh, Sam's Club. And this is the beauty that it was. Did it not send to myself? Oh, <laughs> So I totally sent it incorrectly. Let me send it again for the first time. This is so great. Yes. <laughs> Don't you love it when you send stuff to the wrong people? At least it wasn't a nude, right? <laughs> that would be so horrifying. One of the main reasons is that I communicate a lot with my telephone and I don't want to have any emergencies or, or errors ever. Okay. There we go. Look at that bacon. Did you guys see that bacon? That bacon looked all bacony delicious. Look at that. Look at that. And these are thick slices of bacon. I do have to admit that they're a little bit overdone, just a little bit, but they were so good. I ate like, like, these already and then what I did was I waited till they were done and see how they have these little bubbles on them you know when they froth up so I sprinkled sugar on them just regular sugar not brown sugar and uh not a lot because I don't want it to be too sweet but I just want to have a hint of sweet to combat that that swalsy and it was so good you guys I put it in the oven at 400 degrees for I was going to put it for 40 minutes I put it for 35 and I should have put it in for 30 and then maybe kept an eyeball on it. But hey, like I said, it's a little bit overdone, but it was still very soft. It wasn't at the snapping point or the crisp point. So it was really good, you guys. Okay, you twisted my arm. I'll make the rest of it tomorrow. I mean, tonight. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do it. You, you convinced me. So Steve, you're going to make the bacon? Yes. And Heather, that, that um, macaroni salad that you sent the picture of, that looked like that healthy-ass macaroni salad that I showed the first one yesterday. 
The one that looked like it had like a lot of the, like red and green bell peppers in it. I mean, it looked good, yeah, but you know, sometimes like it's like making chicken salad. I don't know if you guys put grapes in your chicken salad, but some people put grapes in their chicken salad just so that you are aware of uh, what people are doing in the world. Uh, <laughs> grapes in chicken salad. So this is what it looks like. Uh, and some people put walnuts in there too. I just get so everything. But if you like this much grapes, then you really should just make a bowl of grapes. You know, but in a chicken salad, you kind of have a concert of everybody hanging out together, yeah? And so you got chicken, and since it's a chicken salad, you kind of want that to be dominant, or I would. And then I would have the celery, and I would have uh, the grapes, and anything else, like, you know, on the side, even the, even the walnuts. And this is just per my opinion, by the way, guys. But for me, I like the main name of it. See, it says the chicken salad with grapes. This is some serious like grape salad with a little bit of chicken. You know, little little tiny bit of chicken here and there. So, and maybe they scooped it all out. It looks great, but it's really a lot of grapes. How to make chicken salad. I don't know. That may, That sounds good. I have to admit, though, you guys, I was totally lazy. You know what I did? I bought some chicken salad. Now, I do dress it up, but I will say that when it's made with totally breast meat, and you can look at it and see it has breast meat and celery in it, and that's pretty much the maximum of add-ins, you can always, the sky's the limit, you guys. You can totally make it whatever you want. You can eat it with crackers. Uh, like, if you guys eat chicken salad, what's the best way you guys like to eat it with chicken? Like, what do you eat it with? Um, now, sometimes I will add... Uh, a little bit of blue cheese salad dressing to it and some cranberry and I'll eat it with a lettuce leaf uh, that's something that I do like to eat and then um, and it's very low you know everything as long as you're not overboard with the dressings you've got the protein and if you want instead of the craisins you can put the grapes in there oh here we go oh I said I was ready a long time ago okay here we go guys we'll be right back We'll talk food again in a moment. Gosh darn it. I was trying to see. Oh, the Oni. While injured, you believe the, behind blood orbs, which the Oni can absorb to build up his power. When blood fury is activated, run and hide. The Oni can dash at high speed and put survivors into the dying state with one hit. So how do we get, well, how do we dash? If these mofos can dash, I need to be able to dash. How can I dash away too? Oh, is there a way? And perhaps I just don't know, you guys. Let me see. Dead by Daylight. Dashing. Survivor dash. <sighs> okay. Dead by Daylight. I would go to another screen, but I don't want to miss this thing coming on. Dead by Daylight. Survivor dash okay rancid abattoir coldwind farm when injured tap into your inner journal and dash quickly to avoid damage how do you do that do that show me okay i should have looked this up a long time ago There it is. Uh oh. I will, but I'm running. Oh shit. Ah oh, man. Oh did 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 get it. And then he's getting stronger. No, vault, vault. Why did you do that? Oh my God, you guys. Not often, but just this, this one time. Away from me, Oni. Gosh darn it. And I was right there. Ugh. 
Anyway, so Steve says, I can imagine the sound of that bacon frying, which just happens to sound like applause. <gasps> Andy, hey, how's it going? How are you? How's everything going? And yes, it does sound like applause. How are you doing today? Happy Sunday. Hold on, I gotta run, girl. Welcome back to the living room, though. Oh, are you helping me? Oh, no. Shh. Okay. Oh, my God. That's two skill checks in a row. And I'm looking for that guy. Oh, no. Here he goes. He just picked him up. I'm like, what did she run for? Are you going to go get him? Okay, yes. Don't skill check me out. Oh my goodness, you guys. This gives me such anxiety. I mean, good anxiety, but OMG. Oh, 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 oh my god, the skill check impending, impending skill check is killing me. And then I'm still trying to listen for his heart or for the for the beat. Shit. I'm not seeing anything. Where's my vision? We gotta stick together, girl. Oh, shit. No, no, no. What did you come back for? Dumb ass. Okay. Don't foobar this up. Shit. I did exactly. Over there. Why aren't you crouching? Okay, I'm going to continue working on this. Am I just not going to get in there? Oh, I see. Okay, I just saw her unhook him. Oh, no. I thought she did. Shiza, I'm torn. Are you able to do it or not? Dude, I got to go. Oh, shit. Get down. You got her? Okay. Holy shies, I hope that thing doesn't come get me. Skill check, don't get me. Boogeyman and skill check. Don't get me. Andy, I'm so glad you made it back in here tonight. Even though I keep messing up these skill checks. Oh. There's no way you should see me over here. Okay, I see you. Okay. I just saw her do that too. Oh. I 
I see you. Oh my God, y'all. I see that mofo. Oh, that light still needs to be repaired. There it is. Shit, I totally got that one. Are you kidding? Fix it and do it right. Ah. Uh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I feel so terrible. Whenever I fail a skill check, that's all I have to do. Just just hit the thing. You should have seen me when I first started playing this game. It was dreadful. Oh, it was dreadful. I got the tail end of that mofo. Oh my gosh. Shit, stop. There she is, right over there. But I guess you're going to be right there. There you are. Okay, girl, here I come. Here I come, girl. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stay, girl. You got this. Okay, I can come back. Run. Oh, my goodness. I hope I can make it. Here I come. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh my goodness. Let's do it. Okay. Next. We got this, ladies. We got this. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, what? He's over there? Run, run, run! Oh my god, you got oh, that motherfucker right there! <laughs> oh, dude! Hurry up, hurry up, scoot! Get your ass down the street! Oh, keep going! Keep going! Oh no! I don't want to die like that! Stop following me! Oh gosh, she's getting more and more afraid. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh shit. Run, run, run. Run back through. Oh shit, I'm just going to make him tired of nothing else. Hell, it's not like I'm going to do real damage. Oh shit. Keep going. Keep going. Get your ass away from me. <laughs> There he is. Run. Oh, shit. There he is. I have a blood trail he can follow. God dang it, because I'm not healed yet. Fudge. There he is right over there, too. Well, I have to sit here and heal myself right quick. Oh. Oh. I need to heal myself. How come I can't heal myself? Dang it. I gotta go get you. But I have a trail that he can follow because of my blood. Oh, there he is. God, y'all. That gets on my nerves. I thought for sure he wasn't going to come get me. He went around in a circle, and then he was like, oh, there's nowhere else for this bee to be. Dang it.
And I think this is my second time being hooked, is it? Yep. Now I gotta struggle. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm trying to struggle. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. So in the meantime, Steve says, I usually steer clear of store-bought chicken salad. With one exception, Costco makes a rotisserie chicken salad. That is amazing. And uh, that's what I usually do, too. Sam's Club is where I got mine. Oh, thank you. How come I can't repair myself? Dang it, I should have stayed by her in case she could heal me. Now I do have a health... Okay, I see you. Two? Dang it, where are you taking her? Right there. Shiza. Oh no, she went to the... So who all still alive? Oh shit, there he is. Hey there, what's up? Hey there, what's up? <laughs> I was looking for that chest right there. I was. Ah, uh, so there's still two... There's still three of us. But what does Dead Man X mean? Does that mean he left? Oh, and I'm dead. Ah, uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Whoever that was trying to come get me. Ah, you guys, I totally went to the entity. Barnacles, but I stayed alive for a long time. Sacrificed three of us. It's all right, ladies. We did what we could. Let's see. I select selected yes for a challenge, but I'm not sure what. Oh, this challenge. Level one completion reward. So I've got one. Earn five Lightbringer emblems or bronze of quality or better. Shining light. I don't know what that means. But I guess, yay, I'm on the right track, I guess. All right, let's see. We got 17,000 that we can spend this time. Yes. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I got the first aid kit. I do want the scraps. But I like this one. You are motivated in dire situations. Oh, I have to follow the path, eh? No, see, that was a setup from the get-up. You knew. Oh, you knew. Uh, and I don't have enough. 4,600. I have 4,000, yes. I could get a sweet William, or I could get a sweet William. There we go, 642. My loadout item will be... Gosh, and I left my other thing. I died anyway, so it's not like I could have brought it. A camping aid kit. It's a rudimentary aid kit, which can save lives in emergencies, even if it's lacking in, of some of its supplies. Moderately increases the speed that you heal others, unlocks a self-healing action, and 16 charges. Dang, it says barely has enough for a decent charge up, or barely has enough material for a decent patch up. There we go. Okay, I'm hearing that my stream is acting up, um, so I apologize, and I will be back on as soon as I can if it does drop without my knowledge. Um, let me see here. Yeah, the chicken chicken bought salad, store bought chicken salad can be touch and go. But yes, uh, Walmart has the rotisserie breast, and it is absolutely delicious. And like I said, they don't put a lot of junk in it. They just put uh, celery, and I think they do that just to give it crunch if you need it. But uh, it just absolutely, I think it tastes really good myself. So um, normally, if I purchase chicken. Purchase, chicken purchased store bought chicken salad then normally I would sit there and put in um, like I would add maybe some onion powder garlic powder a dash of soy sauce I always think that that fixes everything um, I don't know what else some people add curry uh, some people add um, 
Gosh, what else other things can you add to chicken salad to make it a chicken salad? Add to chicken salad. Things to add to chicken salad. What to add to chicken salad sandwich. Best spices to add to chicken salad. I think I'll look at that. Carol has some chicken salad with water chestnuts in it. Swiss cheese. That's just a very white salad. I mean, like, if you're looking for color, because Swiss is white. Oh, the green grapes. Water chestnuts are white, I think. Hmm. But she's got onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, a tiny bit. Lemon juice, yes, I was going to say that. <coughs> Thank you, bless me. <laughs> um, green grapes, water chestnuts. I've never heard of chicken salad with water chestnuts in it, but I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying I've never heard of such a thing. <coughs> Jalapeno! Jalapeno! That is hot. That is adding heat, not flavor. Well, jalapeno does have a flavor. It does. Seasoned chicken salad. Now, this one looks like it's got a lot of pepper in it. Look, I think they added the pepper just then. <laughs> Let me see. Nope, let's just swir scroll down. Chicken, all mayonnaise, salad, salad seasoning. I guess that's like what you heard of this salad seasoning. Is that what that is? Yeah, like a, a topping for a salad, yeah? Okay, they messed me up calling it a taco seasoning, or a seasoning mix. Salad seasoning, okay. So anyway, you would add that. You would add celery, salt, onion powder, celery, or carrots, chopped, optional. I don't know about carrots. Now, I've had carrot and kale, like no mayo type coleslaw, uh, something that looks like this, more of a vinaigrette, olive oil type thing. Apple cider, sugar, salt, and cracked black pepper. That's all it is. That sounds really good, and that looks so vegetably good. But I feel like instead of eating it as a salad, I could stir fry it and make it a delicious, like, hot or warm, uh, you know, vegetables. I don't know. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Banana peppers. Ooh. Banana. Is that what I see here? No, those are yellow. Banana peppers would be good. Salaf. Yes. Greek chicken salad. Um, it's chicken salad with feta cheese, tomatoes, olives, bell peppers, Greek yogurt, and many more goodies. Hmm. I wonder what you would... Cheese, yes. I was like, what makes it look kind of crumbly like that? It's that. But you've got your... Have you ever had this salad before, Andy? Is this really good? Greek chicken salad? <laughs> I think that sounds really good, actually. I don't know that I've been besides Olive Garden because they have the banana peppers on the side with your, when you order their super salad or basically their salad. Uh, I know that they have the banana, and I love the banana peppers that are there. So it just makes sense, yeah? Bacon crumbles. Yes, that would be. And Steve says, when I was very young, someone in my family used to do a turkey salad from holiday leftovers, and they add split grapes to it. I was never a big fan. I mean, does that look like something? I mean, because you said banana peppers. I think I would try it, but I'm not a big feta cheese fan at all. I, li I liked it once upon a time, and then I heard how they make it, and then I just kind of just didn't anymore. But it sounds, it sounds like a winner. It doesn't sound bad at all. I mean, look at all these ingredients that look good. Plus, you're going to have the Greek yogurt. Plus, you're going to have that feta cheese. It's delightful. Buffalo chicken salad. Wow, this looks good. I could make buffalo chicken salad. And that's Christmas cheesecake. No. Uh, and you could use the buffalo chicken salad as a dip, actually. I would. I've actually, I'm on the search for the best buffalo chicken dip recipe. And I would love, I had some with another relative. 
This was probably in 2018, 2017, but I wanted to make it. And then we jokingly said we would have a competition. So I am on the search because when we get back to where we can hang out with people, I'm going to be ready <laughs> and I want to have it ready. So, uh, if you guys know of any really delicious, delightful, uh, Buffalo chicken, either salad that looks like this, that you could dip with crackers. Let me know, please, because hers was really good. And uh, I was like, surely I can do better. But if I can't, I'll bow down. I'll say no. But I refuse to think that at this point, there's nothing better. Look at those. Oh my gosh, that would be so good to just have in little, um, oh, you could put them in the little cupcake containers, do like a scooper of it, and then have like, you know, a couple of crackers in there to start and people could grab more crackers. Look at that. That way people aren't dipping in stuff. I like that. Look at how delectable that is. Okay, here it is. Okay, so we've got chicken, bread. Oh, it's loading. I didn't even see that, you guys. Oh, I'm facing the pig. No, and it doesn't have a terror radius, I think. No way, or sweet banana peppers. Ooh, sweet banana peppers would be good too. I didn't think about those. Yeah, they'd be good too, and delectable. Ooh, that would really give it a zing. All right, sold. I'll use some, next time I make some, I will make it with sweet banana peppers, and that sounds really good actually. Sweet banana peppers. Mount Ormond Resort. Okay, I gotta get back in this. Hold on, guys. I'm right in front of one. Uh oh. This mother right here, run! Oh no! I should have known, and he had no terror radius. Ooh, did you see that doll sitting on top of that thing? Oh, Shiza, leave me the f alone! Ah ha ha ha! That be. Oh no! Yes, run. Oh, no. I saw his face and I didn't realize what the character looked like. He was right there. Gosh, why'd you have to hurt me so bad, man? Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. Who? Wait, that mofo has no terror radius. Oh, shit. Oh, I hate you and your guts. Run. Oh, you ran right up in my face. This is a professional killer, y'all. How does he get to hit me so hard, though? Because I loaded out with something to help heal myself. No. Go, 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 help him, help him. Hey, you're running away from me. Yeah, I'm right here where you left me, you son of a bee. I see you, you piece of crap. Uh, and he's gonna take me downstairs? Oh man. Oh, I'm so D.E.D., -E you guys. I can't take a chance to escape. Uh, 
Uh, and if you hold and you just sit there for too long, then they're going to try to take the choice out of your hands. I'll try. And if you try to escape, though, that's the problem is that it'll put you at stage two, no matter what. See, look, I'm just sitting here. Dang, everybody's busy. Okay, so two people have been hurt. Christy D is the only one who's not hurt. Christy is, is doing the uh, machines. Oh my God, you guys. I'm going to have to sit here and do this until somebody comes or until my, my juice runs out. And you guys can see my juice at the bottom corner, right next to my microphone. That's how much juice I've got. Somebody else is hanging too, or are they? Is this my whole thing? I hope this person comes to get me in enough time. I escaped? What? How did we escape? Oh, somebody must have left the game in the middle? What? What happened? Well, I guess if I escape and I have my... I don't know how I escaped and not died. Unless somebody quit the game. Uh, maybe my thick Uber. Was my thick Uber the killer? I think he was. Oh, okay, so if the killer quits, then... Okay, then. Okay, so it had to have been that the killer uh, left. So that's fine with me, too. <laughs> uh, blood web. Let's see here. Anything? Oh, I don't have much of a choice. I'll get this. And can I get that? Nope. Nope, I'm stuck. 3787. I'm just short of the four, but that's okay. My loadout, my offering will be. I always try to look and see which one has the best. Oh, I guess when it's 100% bonus blood points in the boldness category. Let's go. All right, ready. All right, so. Uh, oh, go back to my other screen that I was living on. Okay, so I was totally thinking and talking, um, totally thinking and talking in here. Let me see. Okay, so there says chicken breast, celery, green onions, Monterey Jack cheese, buffalo sauce, sriracha sauce, and then sour cream. I probably wouldn't put the sriracha. I'm not impressed with the sriracha flavor. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that personally, I think that I don't necessarily savor that flavor. But for a more savory flavor, I like the Louisiana hot sauce uh, for the buffalo chicken stuff. And uh, it is basically the same thing, I think. When I smell buffalo sauce and I smell, smell um, Louisiana hot sauce, they, they taste very similar to me. So, uh Anyway, uh, if you have a different mind on that, let me know. I'm always open to that. But again, this looks like a really good chicken salad. Let's say uh, best best uh, <clears throat> chicken, best buffalo chicken, chicken dip. Best buffalo chicken dip near me. Ooh, but best buffalo chicken dip with rotisserie. Ooh, did you guys see that? Oh, no, you guys. Have you ever had buffalo chicken empanadas? Okay, so there's a place on the East Coast called uh, Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero. And uh, they absolutely have buffalo chicken empanadas. And let me tell you something, you guys. If you have not had a buffalo chicken empanada, you have not lived. I'm so sorry. I mean, unless you don't eat that stuff, then you lived all you lived all you needed to. Um, 
Let me see if I can find a copycat. Copy cat buffalo. I roll. I out and out love sriracha, but only as a table condiment. For some reason, it's not all that to me when people use it in recipes. All right. Well, I'll give you that. I, I think I agree when people use it in recipes, which people use it in recipes a lot. Um, I'm not necessarily like, ooh. But, I mean, even whenever, uh, what is their name again? Pollo Comparo. Uh, but yeah, when people, I mean, even as a table condiment though, I'm just not, I don't like having my taste buds be burnt. Um, I like to have my taste buds be like, oh, this is really good. You know, like how tasty this is. But, um, yeah, Cop uh, copycat, pollo, campero, uh, campero, buffalo, chicken empanada. So let me look at it real quick. And what was it that they showed me? Was this a video for it? That's what I was wondering if that was a picture of it or if it wasn't. Ah, sigh. Okay, well, six more seconds. I was hoping. Okay, still looking for a match. Hurry up. Oh, no, that's not what I was looking for. Okay, so forward again, or was it backwards? Copycat. Oh, uh, it didn't keep it? Oh, barnacles. Okay, again, here it is. All right, so they have delightful, delightful. I, like I'm just having flat. Oh, somebody's giving a food review. Nope. I just want to know how to eat, eat, make it. Okay, so this is a really particular one. The one that I saw was like, just like shredded chicken and it had the buffalo sauce in there and then like some kind of cheese and jalapenos. It had cut like jalapenos in there. Very good. So I guess this is to make the, um, oh, Okay, here I'm making it bigger and everything, and I'm like, oh, I need to watch this. <laughs> Two egg yolks, water. Is this to make the dough? So I'm not going to lie, you guys. They make uh, uh, empanada dough, and they make it in the uh, Goya section at the supermarket. So, yeah, that's where. But anymore, I don't mind making the empanadas with just only the, 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 the meat. I'll totally eat it and put cheese on it and then eat it like it was a meal. All right, chicken breast. Oh, here we are loading up. Barnacles, I gotta pause that. All right, guys, we're back. We're back. Make sure I have my loadout. I do. I'm ready. Assassin Girl 114, Honey Cake Caves, Honey Coves, and then E Star, e -star Fire 78. All right, we're a gang of girls going out there. All right, y'all. Let's see if we can do this. Very cool. Every Oh, she doesn't have a loadout. Steve says, oh, but I already said that part. Ha, 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 ha. I thought it was a new comment, Steve. My bad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Oh, so you guys, I'm drinking coffee today with some, this is some hot cocoa with marshmallow from Starbucks. I don't know if you can see it. What a good, delightful mix. Um, it is pure cocoa. 
and uh, it does have little bits of marshmallow in it, so it's really good. Um, I have another one that I have, which is the classic hot cocoa, and it's in a green can, which is why it's keying out. That's so funny. <laughs> I didn't think about that. So anyway, I've got, I got these actually as a birthday present. So we've got the hot cocoa and we've got the original, or with the marshmallow and the original. And uh, so I've got the marshmallow one in my coffee, plus a little bit of uh, coconut rum. And then also, um, oh, just to tell you guys too, the coffee that I drink, I showed you guys, a oh, you can't see it. This is great. It's a yellow can. <laughs> you guys, I guess when people use yellow, there's a lot of advertising ideas that use yellow. So, uh, oh, there I am. Can I spell it? Uh, Cafe Bustelo. Yes, there it is. I'll look at it real quick. There it is, you guys. That's why you couldn't see it. Yellow. And here we go. All right. I need to go outside. I don't like being stuck inside like that. Can I get outside? I don't see anything that needs, I need to find a, either a machine well, oh shit, let me go this way if you're that way, is there anything that's flashing lights that I can use, run to? Damn it, damn bird. Holy crap, Taculitis. Did you guys see how close that bee was? Over there. Damn it. Shit, I gave it away, didn't I? God dang it. Dang it, son of a bitch. And I walked right over to it, didn't I? Uh, this is a professional killer. This just drives me nuts. Uh, especially when he just goes in there and just routinely. Oh no! Oh shit, here he comes for me now. Son of a bitch! No, 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 don't you kill me and put me on that hook. Ah! No, I can't even crawl over to you. We can't even heal each other, you guys. He went to go pick her up. Now he's gonna pick me up next. He's camping on us, y'all. Here he comes for me, son of a bee. Nobody asked you, I didn't call for you. I did not ask for your attention. Okay, I'm struggling. Oh no, they always bring me downstairs. This is why I don't like to be inside. Ugh. How did I get to the next level? What? Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Oh, Cunny Coves is being captured too. 
here comes somebody or maybe not maybe they're running for their lives okay they're trying to heal see and after a certain time they don't even let you struggle here he comes this son of a bitch oh my god you guys uh I'm just totally trying to oh thank you be quiet be very quiet oh shit I just saw him oh shit son of a nerf herder I just had a few steps of freedom. Eee, curses. This is where I need a fuller set. Something that I can use to heal myself better. But I don't want to waste it. Because if I die quickly, I don't want to waste it. I think that these are the strips that I have to avoid walking on. Or maybe not. I don't know. Dang, I'm dying, bleeding all over the place. Oh, somebody's trying to come up to me. Hide, though, dude. Don't get caught. I'm going to try to crawl towards you. Holy shies, I can hear that sucker. Sacrifice yourself, ladies. I mean, don't sacrifice yourself, ladies. Oh, man, we got to go get that one. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no, 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 leave me alone. I just got to be free. Oh no, did you just get got? No, there it is. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Okay. Oh my god, my nerves. We have three more. Don't. Yes. Oh shit, I hear him. Oh shit, this motherfucker sees me so bad. <laughs> Y'all didn't have no so heart to try to get the. <laughs> He must have looked at me like, are you serious right now? <laughs> ah, I didn't have anywhere to go. Where else was I supposed to go? Y'all get on my nerves with that. Oh, oh no, I'm done. Oh, curses. So bacon, I mean that uh, bacon. <laughs> so Steve, how's that bacon going? Okay, so two of us were sacrificed. Oh, barnacles. My goodness. <laughs> I can't believe I called you bacon. <laughs> ah! That is mad funny. I lost my camping aid kit. Let's spectate. Go! Oh! Run, run, run!
Oh, girl. So that means when you're running and you got blood, you're injured. Got it. I don't understand how he gets from the bottom floor all the way. Oh, 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 girl, run. Run. <laughs> See? He turns almost invisible. I don't understand that. Oh, you guys, sorry. I, oh, poor thing. All right, so let's go. Go to get my blood points and distribute them. Ah, oh, curses. All right, so I have 1252, 522. Of course, I have to get this one. Huh? There we go. I was like, what's the problem? Level 42. What the what? I need this. I need this. I need this. Oh, I'm broke. I only have a thousand. <laughs> I'm not broke, but I only have a thousand fifty-two. Loadout will be... Yeah. Emergency kit. This one's like a ranger med kit. Tremendously increases the speed that you heal others. Love that, you guys. I'm going to get the regular first aid kit, and I'm ready. Okay. So. Oh, Cafe Bustello. That's what it was. <laughs> so anyway, that's my, my, that's the can I'm trying to show you, I believe. Um, Cafe Espresso. Uh, oh, that says Espresso. Oh, this is the Spanish side. Here it is. Espresso Ground Coffee. Always pure and flavorful. Notice it says espresso. For those of you who say espresso, it is not espresso. Um, I mean, you can say espresso if you want to, but you're dead wrong. <laughs> Just like, <gasps> what is this? Supreme espresso style? I had no idea, you guys. I've got to try this. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to look into this, you guys. Oh, so anyway, we're back here to the emp empanada recipe because I was telling you guys about my, my coffee. And, um, oh, and then uh, finally, what I put in there, I use either the, the liquid version, or I don't know if you guys are familiar with this uh, coffee make uh, vanilla creamer. It's too bright and it's pixelizing. So anyway... Mmm, it smells good. You can either use the liquid version of the French vanilla or you can use the powder version. But either way, it kind of counterbalances the cocoa just a little bit, but it's really good. So, uh, you can also touch up your coffee with nutmeg uh, if that's your preference. Or uh, you can touch it up with um, cinnamon, some people say, or chicory. Uh, it's up to you what you would like to touch up your, or, you know, boost your coffee with, yeah? But mm -mm -mm, it's so good. And some people use uh, a little bit of whiskey. Some people use rum. Um, I know that uh, there is a whiskey called Fireball. And there's also um, not rumple mints, but like cinnamons or something like that. I don't know. But it's a, uh, I think it's a liqueur, perhaps. But I'm not sure. But you can also add that to your coffee as well just a little bit I'm not talking like to make it drown but uh yeah it definitely gives your coffee a kick and an extra different flavor that is very delightful if you're not too afraid to try things in your coffee all right so let me back this up because the game started and I kind of foobarred it a little bit chicken bouillon cube a bay leaf now notice how they put the bay leaf in their hole like, there are people who will mash up the bay leaf and crumple it up. Bay leaf does not soften the longer that you cook it. It maintains when it's dried. Uh, if it's if it's a uh, maybe a softer, fresher bay leaf, perhaps. I've never had experience cooking with it. Usually the bay leaf I use is dried. And let me tell you, you guys, mm-mm. It does not soften at all. It doesn't matter how long. It does not reabsorb flavor or get hydrated. <laughs> so just in case you're like, well, just let it boil a little bit and, you know, it'll rehydrate. Their skillet is very cool looking, though. What was that? 
Oh, that was that. It just kind of came out of the blue, out of the, like, see, look, boom. It's all delectable. And then, oh, back to the chicken. Oh. Yep, we're still here. Mmm. That looks really good, you guys. I would do that. With the chicken breast. Hard cooked eggs. Now, I've never known eggs to be in, in that. For empanadas? I mean, I'm not knocking it. I'm obviously not a native uh, person who... Uh, well, not obviously. I could have grown up there. But I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm not a person who knows how to make these. How dare I critique it? <laughs> I don't know. The ones with the eggs in it, I'm not a big fan already. Yeah? When I have, like, Jamaican beef patties or empanadas or... Um, like Indian, they have some filled, it's filled with potatoes and beef. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's called, but I will tell you, um, Indian, Indian curry puff, uh, beef. Indian beef curry puffs. Beef curry puffs, yeah. So, anyway. Oh, and they have Chinese curry puffs. But anyway, I've had them, but this like looks like a lot of potato. I like mine to be meaty. I mean, like if you say there's going to be meat in there, I want to celebrate it. I want to roll around in it, and I want it to coat me with its deliciousness. And, you know, when I eat it, I want to be filled with joy and happiness. It's called roti, I think. Okay, thank you. Let me look. I appreciate that. Heads up. Roti. Oh, that's what I thought. The roti is the 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 bread. I think it's naan. It's a tortilla. It's not a tortilla. Naan is a leavened bread. Okay, so we have to come back to this, Steve. But um, the pastry, I don't think, is roti. I think it's a puff pastry, an Indian puff pastry. Hey, there's a brown person other than uh, Claudia. What's going on, another brown person in the room? Adam Francis. Oh, his name is Dead. Meme Lord is in here, and I'm just a cake, 45. All right, cake. I understand. And then here I am, sure, delicious. <laughs> okay, the killer's here. Matt, okay, so once the final person signs in, no matter what, the last... Oh, God, you guys, pray for me. <laughs> oh, only two of us. Cut coin or fragrant sweet William. It's easy to forget your loadout, though, so I don't... Oh, the twins. You guys, pay attention for the sound of the smaller killer, Victor, to hear him before he pounces. When Victor is on your back, he reveals any nearby survivors to the killer unless they are crouching or not moving. After Victor misses a pounce or downs a survivor, you have a short window of time where you can what? Where I can what? <laughs> Dropping a pallet on a killer momentarily stuns them. This is the first time I'm facing the twins, you guys. The twins is new for this season. It was a new... Um, let me see. They just added this this character. It's this chick, yeah, that's like uh, undead or something. And she has to be undead because this whole other entity explodes out of her chest. <clears throat> the terror radius, also known as the heartbeat, indicates the killer's approach. The more intense it gets, the closer the killer is. I don't know if you guys can hear the heartbeat, but when I hear that heartbeat, I'm like, because it doesn't say, oh, it's coming from here. Now, sometimes you'll see that parenthesis with the red arrow, and they're like, it's right there. But that's usually when it's like right there. You know what I mean? Like when you're running, you don't know. So generators can often be located by searching the flashing lights above them. And that's what I look for sometimes. I'm like, where's the flashy lights? Oh, here we go. Hey, what's up? Together again. Come on. Unlock me. Unlock me. Where do you think we should go? Oh, that's all three of us. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. How come you're right there? 
Why were you standing there just looking at me like that, you son of a bee? Why? They always come after me first. Is there something out there that says Sherbalicious is a newbie? Is that what's... Ew, look at her. Is that what's going out? Because why is the killer looking for me? There were three of us in the same spot, y'all. There were three of us. And he's standing right there. Oh, he was trying to help me wiggle. Don't camp. You have a second thing on your body. Don't camp here. <sighs> Go. Why are you going to cut me? I'm just sitting here minding my beeswax. It's almost like she doesn't want me to look at her. That's why she cut me, because she was like, stop looking at me. I'm keeping my eye on you, Heifer. Heifer! Camping! Camping! Shut of a sh... I swear, somebody's got it out. Like, kill this chick first if she's out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm wiggling. I am wiggling. Dang it. Run. Run. It's hard to be stuck with your dominant hand and then trying to stay alive. Hey, run, dude! Oh man, I'm still struggling. No, 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 I'm still struggling. I never stopped. What the what? Oh, I hope you get an, a hernia. Dude, I hope every part of your body falls apart, lady. I don't even know if ladies... Do ladies get hernias? If they don't, he, she should. Okay, I'm holding on, y'all. I see y'all trying to come get me. That mofo is probably camping, though, so watch out. Watch out. There he is, right there. See, I hate you. I've got to heal. Okay, don't fuck up the skill check, girl. She sat up there and sabotaged it. Oh, shit. You son of a nerf herder. No! Ah. I saw them healing each other in that corner over there, so I was like, well... I guess I could run. Dang it. And that was another one I could have gone to. Look, run, y'all. He's right there. She. She's a she. Oops. I'm going to die already. Gosh darn it. I had no options, y'all. I've been sacrificed to the entity once again. I'm going to play this next game and see. I'm not going to do anything, really. I'm just going to creep around, and I'm going to see if they are totally just killing me. Because I'm a man. It's easy to kill me. I'm new-ish. I'm not really new, but I don't play this game in my off time like I should. I play it with you guys, but I should probably play it more so in my off time. Okay, 77.25. I want this. Hmm. I'll take that. Unusual stamp. I can't purchase anything else. 
All right, so my lead out will be Ranger Med Kit, First Aid Kit. Ugh, I want tools. But if I, if I get hurt, I can't hurt, I can't. A standard flashlight. I haven't used the flashlight yet either. A broken key. Various objects can be attached to the jump ring, which channels the broken key's power. And 10 seconds of use. I'll just do the first aid kit. God knows that's what I'm going to need. Oh, I have all these uh, things. What are these? Petrified oak. Calms the entity and slightly increases the difference distance between sacrificial hooks. Blood points. Grave of Gasville. Sorry, guys. i got to see what some of these offer. Last mask. Chalk pouch. Cleuses luck. Darkens the mist. Blood prints. Vigos. Common blueprint. Okay, so I'll, I'll do the Vigos blueprint, which is tremendously increases the chance of spawning the hatch in the main building if the map has a main building. That would be great if they had a main building. All right. <clears throat> so, Roti. Uh, so the roti is the, I think they cook it on the sides of the, the big hot container. But I'm going to try again for the um, Indian curry puff beef. And sometimes you see it with peas in it. I don't necessarily want peas. Don't need it. Um, oh, yeah, that's the one we looked at. Uh, I wanted to see, hmm, just a quick one. Ooh. Catch up with Linda. I just want to see a quick video. How to prepare onions. How to prepare onions? Ah. No, I wanted to look at this. Back arrow. Uh, oven baked curry puffs. I just want the recipe for the innards. Because a curry puff, a Jamaican beef patty, um, buffalo chicken empanadas, I will absolutely eat it without the crust and I will put cheese on it. Yes, I will. So I do like the uh, puff pastry that is made and it, I love the dipping sauce that's made for it. I swear every time I look away from the screen, you're li limping when I look back to see how you're doing. <laughs> you know what, Steve? Uh, sometimes it's called a strategy. I don't have one, but sometimes it's called a strategy because I swear they're chasing me. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this round and I am not going to do anything. And I'm going to see if they come to get me because I swear they come get me first. The last round, there were three of us. There was another lady I could see. One ran to me and we were in the same area and the killer came after me first and they were right there. I was like, man. It's not like I was in a bad spot, yeah? So I'm going to pay attention to this this round. Of course, I'm going to do what I can, but my goal is not to run around and be out there. I, my, my goal is to see if I just stay in one spot. Because I, I I swear there's somebody. Mm. But anyway, yes, I do agree with you <laughs> that I am limping. It seems like more times than not. Um Rice paper rolls, vegan paper rice rolls, fried spring rolls. Huh. Okay, so that looks kind of tasty. Look at that. I don't necessarily need the carrots, but it makes people feel good to see it there. Let me see here. Okay, so here's the insides. What's the ingredients? Do we have a video? No. It makes approximately 50 to 54. You've got puff pastry, white potatoes. Oh, puff pastry. That's right. So I don't have to do any hard work. Um, white potato, sweet potato. Oh, yeah, that's in there too. So I could adjust it. I don't I don't mind the sweet potatoes, but I don't necessarily need them. Um, same with carrots. Uh, brown, on brown onion. I've never heard of brown. I've heard yellow, white, but... Is that browned onion? Oh, yeah. 
If it calls for brown onions as an ingredient, not as in saute the onions until brown, I did an online search for and found a couple of websites. Based on the description, it sounds like a brown onion is what in the U.S. is called a plain old yellow storage onion. Okay. I would say they were the same. So it, I, I appreciate that these guys will probably be the ones. Stay away from the white onions or sweet onions. You guys, I love sweet onions. I don't know what. I can just saute those and then eat those, like saute them in butter and then eat them. Seriously, really good. Okay, so brown onion is a yellow onion. Ha ha ha. We figured it out, guys. All right, so brown onion, garlic, curry powder, beef mince. What is beef mince? One pack. Oh, ground beef probably, huh? Soy sauce, total. What is beef mince? That would be ground beef, yeah? Or minced beef? Is minced different than browned? Ground? Ground versus minced meat. Beef. Most retailers label pure 100% mince as beef mince, while the blended version is called ground beef. Pure beef mince it contains no additives. Ground beef, on the other hand, contains less meat and more water and soya. Minced meat is min meat only. Well, really. Minced meat is the same as ground meat. Ground meat is just ground using a grinder, which didn't exist in the old days. You can mince it yourself or use ground meat. Minced meat is meat that has been chopped up very finely. Is ground beef just min mince? Ground beef minced beef or minced beef mince? Oh, it's just a beef that's been finely chopped with a knife. Is ground round better than ground beef? Oh, well, that's a different, <laughs> that's a different thing altogether. Beef mince is ground beef. Okay, yes, thank you. Yes, indeedy. All right, so. All right, so we've determined that brown onion is actually yellow onion and beef mince is ground beef. We're in another round, y'all. Okay, so TXC, Zavi Corral, Just X Vibes. Wow. And then ends ghost, ghost to go out here. Oh my goodness. So we're just waiting for two of the players. Okay, one player. Oh, I'm ready. I wasn't trying to hold it up. My bad. I thought I hit ready already, <laughs> but I didn't. That's what they call it in countries, I think. In other countries? I hope so. Because if I don't... Well, I'm glad to know that because I'd be like, beef mince? Like, is there some additive? Like, to me, a beef mince would have like a water chestnutty type... It just feels like it would have like a mm, something to the teeth that you'd be like, yeah, yeah, when you eat it. Nothing bad, but like more crispy. That's what we put in our um, pork lumpia. So when we make that, we blend, or my mom will blend in the um, finely chopped water chestnuts. So you're eating the pork and then you're not really noticing, but the, the water chestnut does come out and it's really enjoyable. I didn't know until I had some other pork lumpia. And I was like, what's wrong with this pork lumpia? And then I realized that the lumpia I had wasn't like my mom's. So I was like, oh, my mom's is the best. <laughs> so I went to the international food store, you guys, uh, the other day. And I showed you the truffle fish skin chips, the salmon skin chips. Uh, at and they were delightful, but I didn't get my lumpia wrapper. So I'm not able to make lumpia. I was wanting to make that one of the first things that I did when I um, started. Uh... Oh, no, 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 don't go down there. Okay, guys, give me, oh, hey. Where did you go? I thought I saw somebody. Oh, so anyway, is that one? Yes. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm really sad that I didn't get my lumpia wrappers because I did want to make that the first dish that I made. Uh, Filipinos like to generally um, 
celebrate occasions with lumpia. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to celebrate it was because, hey, I was going to start cooking. Or I am going to start cooking. Shit. Man, I was totally not paying attention because I was looking around. Okay, don't fuck up the skill check. What? Where did she go? Where is she? Shit. Come on, stop effing up the skill check. I did it on time. Okay, good skill check. Oh, another good skill check. Keep going. Skill check. Run. Run. Where are you? You are. Okay, I got this. Ooh, great skill check. 300 points. Okay, I see you. Okay, I see you. I'm almost done with this, though. Just hold on, girl. I'll be right there and going that way. I get so turned around, y'all. Shit, I hate when that thing gives away my position. Shit. Where are you? I can hear his heartbeat. Okay. This damn telling ass bird. Okay. Look at that dang bird. That's the one that I got going. Can I go outside, though? Oh, those damn birds are right there. And they will give away your position, too, y'all. How do I get out, though? Oh, there's another one I can work on. Damn bird. Okay, guys. Hope I don't mess up the skill check. Look, Steve, I'm not limping yet. Okay, can I just turn around and go back? Oh. Got it. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Can I go anywhere? Can I fall anywhere? Go, 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 go. Oh! 
Oh, son of a bitch! How did he get right there? I just... Oh, you guys. There's no way. Oh, my gosh. That's the... I call shenanigans. I am so disgusted. Ugh! Alright, taking a chance. Thank you. If you get me, so help me. Oh no, he's gonna come over here and look. Bonsai! What's up? <laughs> oh, dit. Oh no, I was trying to help you, girl. I was gonna help you. I was gonna help you. I'm struggling with this of no, no use. Oh, y'all. Destruction, terror, and mayhem. I didn't jinx myself. I just was alive longer than I thought I would be. I swear I thought somebody was like, just being like, hey, if you see Sherbalicious in there, she is so weak. Go after her first because she's the dead weight. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm struggling. I hope that my people can come get me. Oh, please come get me. I swear I'll do my best to try to stay alive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh no! Why? Why do you hate me? Ugh! Why don't you just leave me where I am? You camping ass. Amy, you're here! What's up? What's going on? Mwah! Bezos, how are you today? I'm so glad to see you. I'm <laughs> at a bad position right now uh, in, by daylight. And this guy's totally camping on me. Son of a bee. Oh, I think he's using me. Oh, thank you for sharing my stream, Amy. I'm glad that you can make it in. Oh, mwah. Hugs to you. I would give you a two-handed hug, but I'm trying to recover and I'm trying to survive. Can I... Can I get in here and just hide? No. See, that's what I hate, that you can't even hide. Can I fall? I know the killer's going to be like, where is you? Oh no, somebody got killed. Don't come get me, I'm just crawling. You don't have to look where I'm at. Uh-oh, dang it, the door's open. Oh, man, if I could just... Hey, y'all, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Oh, that other person needs to be gotten, too. I'm right here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Uh, No, no, no. Oh, man. I think that the other person won't find me. No, there I am. I'm over here. Oh, that person was trying to run, too. I wonder if I can crawl upstairs. Can I? Look at that. Oh, man. Dang it. I made it up the stairs. Can't you let me have something? Y'all, I made it up the stairs and I was gravely injured. Do you understand? Oh, I'm about to die. The entity will come get me. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't make it, you guys. 
I didn't see a Facebook notification that you were streaming, but I remembered to come check. Oh, I'm glad. I'm sad that you guys didn't get it. I love your streams. They give me something to be excited for. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. How are you doing today? How was your day? I am unfortunately not living long. But you know what? Today, I lived pretty long. And me and another chick got assassinated together. Let's spectate. Oh, I'm sorry, person. And the gate is open, too, y'all. Find the exit. That's all she needs to do. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I've got four out of five for this challenge. I don't know what that quite means, but I'm very excited about it, I think. <laughs> As I said, I think. Uh, I have to spend my, my blood points. But, um... I hope you are well. Oh, good vibes to all. Thank you, Amy. Uh, uh, that is such a good, uh, good feeling. Good vibes. Um, I need some good vibes because uh, <laughs> apparently I need all the good vibes I can get. <laughs> Steve made the comment that every time he looked at the screen, I was limping. But today, just now, I actually was climbing around and I did some stuff and I was not limping immediately. Let's see here. It stacks. I don't understand how to... Oh, I have to get this to get that. There we go. Bandages. Uh, abdominal dressing. Oh, that's 5,000. And so I only have 74. Okay. What are these, though? Iridescent shards? Um, they may be used to pr purchase teachable perks. Huh? And customize items in the store. They're not capped. So how do you get to teachable perks in the store? Customize. Uh, store. Features. Characters. Oral Shrine of Secrets. What is this? Oh, these are by Oryx Cells. Very little is known about the entities. Huh. Very little is known about known of the entity's biological working and the exact purpose of the Oryx cell still eludes me. There are nevertheless strong correlations to be made between the cell and the entity's facu faculty to shape the world that imprisons us. Are they primordial building blocks to everything we see within the fog? Can we harness their power? And that's in Vigo's notebook, The Real Enemy. I made a big salad last night so I could eat some today. Easy. I have a homemade chef salad waiting for me when my stomach feels up to it. Mmm, LA has been doing a lot of limping today. Thank you, Steve, for your visual observation. Um, yes, I have. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It felt like everybody was like, go after me first. Anyway, uh, the, I'm just trying to excuse my, my poor playing. Um, so... I don't understand the benefit or bonus of buying. Oh, this is with real money. I thought it was with these type things. Rx cells are your store and archive currency. Now, I just want to know about the iridesc iridescency. Is this Meg? Oh, so you have to kind of buy these things. Oh, okay. Okay, so some of these take... The very rare outfits. Hmm. I only have 2545. So this is 2000. Steve, thank you for sharing my stream. You're my nerf herder. Mwah. I really appreciate you sharing my stream. And thank you. And Amy, I appreciate the way you share my stream and how many times you share my stream. And I appreciate that as well. You my nerf herder too. <laughs> Mwah. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, hubby made sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast croissants. Ooh, and scrambled eggs with bacon for him and my kiddo. So I woke up to the smell of bacon. And then I remembered your stream today, so it helped me be excited, even though my body is feeling the blues. I'm sorry that your body is feeling the blues. Good energy, good energy. I hope and pray that you feel better. I really do. I know it's not as easy as that, but... I hope and pray you feel better. I'm glad you could of the sausage, egg, and cheese. I almost want to make some. I have bacon. 
No, I used the sausage for the stuffing, the dressing that I made for Thanksgiving. I was like, I have some in the refrigerator. No, I don't. But today I did make spaghettis though. I made spaghetti and um, I love my spaghetti to be real saucy and with tons of meat in it. So I made it really, really decadent. <laughs> but I don't feel bad and it tastes pretty good. A survivor outfit. I don't want to necessarily buy an outfit. I want to buy... Oh, so these are like cool point type things. Iridescent shards. I want a per teachable perk. Shrine of Secrets. Ah, teachable perks may appear on any character blood web once unlocked. Shrine of Secrets refreshes in two days. So Blood Warden, this is a teachable perk. As soon as the next gate is open, Blood Warden has activated. The auras of any survivors located within exit areas are revealed to you. Once per match, hooking a survivor while Blood B Warden is active. Oh, that's for the killer. Windows of Opportunity, teachable Kate Denson perk, Nightmare perk, uh, Plague perk, or Adam Francis. Is that it? Huh. Characters. And I've got Meg. I don't necessarily want her outfit to change. I just want to... If she has a teachable perk, I'd like to teach her. But these aren't teachable perks. Featured. Oh, well, what's this? This is 9,000. I don't have this one. Um... So I guess these are mostly outfits. I don't see a teachable perk one for me. Darn it. Barnacles. I was really excited. Uh, I feel like the universe is helping me make it through this round and to get healthier. I hope that that is exactly what is going on. It feels like it should be, right? So I really am sending energy, energy, energy so that you're, be he you're being healed. That is so cool. FYI, Amy, in any certain sentence that already contains the word bacon. Yes. A Amy, earlier, if, you'll scroll, if you're able to see the chat, he said that he was going to make a burger tonight because we were asking what was for dinner. And then I can't believe that he said this. Like, it was just so weird. Like, it for a second paused me. And he was like, well, I might make, make, and make bacon. And then he was like, maybe, maybe might make bacon or maybe might maybe make bacon. I was like, I don't even know what this sentence says. Is this what, what did you say? Like, you are forbidden. You are not allowed. <laughs> There's no sentence that needs to have maybe and bacon in the same. Like, that's a de definite word. Bacon is always definite. So one can say maybe baby, but never ever maybe bacon. Oh, people can always say maybe baby, but maybe bacon? Nah. Never. Bacon is always a good idea. And if you're not eating the bacon, you can always repurpose the bacon oil. Yes, I call it bacon oil because it sounds a lot better than bacon grease, but it's still delectable. Oh, you guys, did I tell you? I think I, I said, I said bacon, like, I mean, I'm sorry. I said, uh, oh, barnacles. I had it in my head too. Oh, bacon grease. But anyway, so Ah, I said I was going to make the asparagus today, but I just didn't migraine. And I was just like, I got to get rid of this because there's no way I'm not going to stream tonight. I'm not on again until Wednesday. So I lay there. I kind of like turned everything off. I had my fan on me. And uh, let's see here. But I think part of what it is is the trains. I live so close to the train state or the train tracks. Um it's not dangerously close, but uh, close enough that the heavy load that's being hauled through, and they have a lot of heavy loads going uh, from, s north, wait, north, south. they're going south, and, well, north and south, but anyway, long story short, it's like produces this really low rumble, and they're not short trains, they're long trains, and so it just makes the entire ground rumble. I don't even have carpet padding underneath my carpets. Like my, there's concrete there. So I feel every bit of the rumble. And so I think what's happening is either that it's going to snow outside soon, because I am sensitive to that, or the rumbles are starting to really uh, not get on my nerves, but they're, they're starting to affect me. And I've lived here for at least two years, yeah? But for some reason, I'm really feeling those rumbles, and it's really, really getting on my nerves. 
Um, uh, even though your body is feeling the blues. I've got a mug full of bacon grease on my stove right now. I should have got I should have got some asparagus from the Safeway. <gasps> oh, can I just tell you again how delightful it was? And you just take the asparagus. You're gonna snap it where the 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 video showed us to snap it at the point where it just snaps, and then you're just gonna put it in there. And uh, after it's cooked for a little bit, I would wait to add the minced garlic or the the chopped garlic. But after it's cooked a little bit, you put that in there and then can finish it. And then um, for heat, I would put slap your mama in there because um, I, I think the little bit of heat. Oh, and you saute it in butter and garlic. Um, but anyway, so after the uh, after the asparagus would be gone, done. Oh, wait, I'm not even hitting ready. What? My loadout. I got to get my one moment, y'all. OK, ready. So anyway, I would do that. So you can easily use your Parmigiano Reg Reggiano or whatever. Um, and just sprinkle it on there when you're done and then just eat it like nya nya nya. That is so good. It looks so good. If you try making some asparagus, you guys, whoever makes it, let me know how it goes and how you made it. Um, I'm looking for something other than steamed, uh, something other than steamed or boiled because I want to maintain as much of the, the, the vitamins in the vegetable. And when you saute it with butter, it's all in there. It's with the garlic and with the butter and with the delightfulness of the heat, whatever you use to heat it. <sighs> My great grandpa loved bacon grease so much that he had it on his pancakes daily. It didn't go well for his heart and lifespan, but he loved the bacon along the way. Okay. So let me tell you something about bacon grease. It has to have some flavor to me. Like if it's not, if it's just bacon grease, then I don't taste that much bacon in it. But when it's bacon grease and it has a little, the right amount of salt in it and like a little bit of smoke flavor in it, oh my gosh. And that's rare. So when I get bacon like that and I taste the grease and I'm like, oh, this grease has flavor. Then I pour it into a little container. And um, I learned how to say bacon fat in German. It's speck, speck fat, speck fat, S P E C K F E T. T, T, I think, Spechfett. But anyway, I put that on everything and I put a little, uh, I put a little uh, G in there. Or no, a little B in there for bacon fat. So like, I'll just get like a butter container. And once I've reached, because I used to have the coffee can full and I was just like, this is excessive. So I'll have at least, uh, oh really, I don't see that. So I'll have at least uh, a little container of the butter and, uh, you know, the tubs of butter. And I'll reuse that and put uh, that bacon fat in there. Man, and when you have ba flavorful bacon fat, especially over the winter. Oh, and you guys, do so you know you can confit garlic? Let me show you. I didn't even know you could confit garlic. But this helps it last and it makes it delicious. Garlic confit. And I just learned about this, you guys. I totally want to, um, let's see, who's got a video? Garlic confit. And this makes it to where you can eat them for like ever and you can spread it on bread. And, uh, ooh, they lied to me. I swear, I thought they said they had a video from the pits of hell, y'all. Lies from the pits of hell. Confit. I could tell you about it, but I wanted you all to see the video. Well, in a nutshell, though, we'll we'll look at this in a second, but you can whip a cl few glo cloves and uh, some of the infused oil with vinegar to make a vinaigrette, smash them and whisk them into the infused oil, uh, toss roasted or grilled vegetables with a spoonful of that, uh, spread it over toasted bread or cheese. And you guys, I hear that confit garlic uh, does not make your breath stink. Okay, so I would imagine though, oh, here's one. Is this a garlic confit pick video? No. Not quite Nigella, the flavor fiend. This of course, well, I guess the surprising foods you should eat to, no. You know though, I did read about that, but y'all have to do your own research on that because I really wanted to look for a video real quick and see the garlic confit. Can we make it? Introducing garlic that doesn't make your breath stink. How to get rid of stanky breath. Mm-hmm. 
I just want to know how to make some garlic confit. What I saw... Oh, is this it? No, those are carrots. Here we go. Oh, this is the one we just looked at that lied to us again. Here we go, Epicurious. Perhaps they will show us? Nope, that's not it. Oh, I just absolutely... They put any kind of video on here. Will this one show me one? Ah, well... Here we go. Well, I kind of didn't want to... One that had somebody who was going to speak. I just like to watch the pictures, you guys. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Uh, how to make garlic confit. All right, let's see. Anyway, bake... It said shake it like it owes you money, huh? So anyway, with garlic confit, I believe that you're going to just... Uh, get it all separated you're going to take it and then you're going to saute it or no put it in a skillet it looks like and then you're going to cover it with butter or oil uh, olive oil probably and then you're going to stick it in the oven and let it bake for a little while it looks like he just has it on the skillet and he's just cooking it for a while which i guess that's you're cooking it either way and then like uh, i'd say a couple of hours is what the uh recommendation is so you can just smash it and put it on bread. It's very soft. Um, and sometimes, if you guys didn't know, garlic becomes a little bit sweet if you pan fry it a little too long. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed it, but garlic does begin to taste sweet if you just skillet fry it for too long. Um, oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. Uh, Steve said... I've done it before in butter with fresh mushrooms. Don't recall if I ever used bacon fat before. I'll use both next time. Yes, indeed. And then I like to put black pepper on my bacon before I cook it. The resulting fat has the flavor of the pepper. Oh, yes. Amy says, I've been craving sautéed mushrooms and garlic and brown gravy over mashed potatoes and maybe meatloaf or some delicious cooked meat. That sounds great with meatloaf. I don't know of any other. Ooh, Salisbury steak, perhaps. Uh, confit reminds me of, has anyone ever saved and used duck fat before? Are you kidding? I love, I just purchased some duck, a couple of duck legs from the international food market. I'm going to wait, um, and get a couple more. Um, and then I'm going to make a crock pot full of duck confit, duck leg confit. That is the best, you guys. If you ever, never, and in fact, I might do part of that whenever I, uh, do my stream because I've made it before and it is delectable. Here we go. We're going to start, guys. Oh, we've got Arrowhead, Horrified Wife, and someone else. But anyway, so yes, duck confit is one of the most delectable. Uh, I, I kept a couple of uh, mason jars full of the duck oil that came from it. And what I did was I got duck fat. And then I also used um, very, very, very light olive oil. So I did half and half. Hold on. Oh, I'm like, there's another audio going on, you guys. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the sound. I found it. I'm always not knowing where the sound is coming from on my computer, you guys. But anyway, so yeah, um, you can take, okay, and what makes it so great is you can keep duck confit in your refrigerator for up to six months. And the, here's the tricky part. You can make chicken confit. You could make duck confit. Basically, cooking it in a Dutch oven for hours and just letting it cook slow and low and completely covered in an oil of some sort, uh, preferably the fat of the, the entity that you're trying to cook. Uh, but anyway... I first I took my duck legs and then I mar or rubbed uh, rubbed sea salt like the rock salt on them and then I put in garlic cloves and I also put in um, rosemary. Oh my God, you guys, whole rosemary, not the minced rosemary, like the the full on non minced sticks. Why am I not running? Oh, God dang it! Freaking crow right there.
Where is a flashing light that I need to look for? Okay, two crows. There's a flashing light. Freaking crow on the ground. What? Oh, there's already somebody here. Hey. Okay, don't mess up a skill check. Oh, did, 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 did. get away from me. See, why in the F bomb does she sit there in front of me? Son of a B. What? Oh, it's this heifer. She can throw her axe. Okay. Oh, man. They already got one person. They just got me, too. She was targeting me. Oh, she's trying to give me time to sit there and wiggle. Shit! Dang it! And there's a there's a thing right here. Oh man, I just can't win for losing. Hate. Hate. Okay, so they're trying to work on it. Sorry, guys. Everybody's working on something, and I'm trying to be caught. Watch out, guys. Watch out. Don't sacrifice yourselves for me. There she is right there. Thank you. Here she comes. Don't you stop. Where? Oh, you're right there. Holy crap. Self-heal. Come on, girl. Ooh. Okay, got you. Don't fail your skill check. Oh, Shiza. There she is right there. I see her. Dang it. Somebody came and unhooked her. Oh, man, my freaking finger was on the wrong key. I hate you. Ugh. How do they see? I don't see how the killer can see everybody who's in the same radius. I mean, who's not in the same radius. Okay, it's not asking me. Oh, it is asking me to struggle. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and struggle because I don't want to go yet. I'd be the first one. There's two of us hooked, and I can't be the first one to go. That's just all there is to it. Because that's just going to be rude and wrong. My stomach was upset, so I haven't eaten yet, but now hunger is waking up. Thank you both for the food inspirations. Yay! Your stomach just wanted a little bit of audible inspiration is all it needed. I hope it helped. You got him? Where are y'all going? We can't stand right here. I mean, I know we need to be healed in Shiza, but we can't stand right here. Oh, no. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. One of y'all needs to go get her, though. Uh-oh.
I hear her humming and shit. Where is she? Do you hear her humming? It almost sounds peaceful, but it's not peaceful. Okay, there's one. I hear her. She's so close. Where are you? Uh oh. Okay, skill check. Don't fuck up the skill check. Oh, shit. Sorry, girl. Sorry. Oh, no. Are they gone? I'm right behind you. We need to work together. Okay. We got two more to fix. One person's already gone. Okay. Okay. Don't fuck up the skill check. Don't mess it up. Oh no, that was her. It's okay. Uh oh. Right there. Shiza! Oh, it's already working. Mm -mm. Get down. God dang crows. They give away your position every time. Oh, I know that thing is near me. Who? There you are. <laughs> Holy crap. Where are you? I need to find another light that needs to be... Hold up, where? Oh no, she got eaten by the... Oh, I see you. You were right over there. I saw you. Tim, it's just Matt and me. Nope, I'll go back in here. No thanks. Where are you? Oh, that humming is so creepy because it's almost like an okay humming. 
You can, oh, that's the killer's radius, and you can hear them when they're nearby. Okay. Let me get over here real quick. Catch up with the chat. Okay. I haven't cooked with duck before. I've tried eating it at least once a while, once while in Vegas years ago. I mean, I have too. I've bought whole ducks just to roast them and bottle up the rendered fat. They're so good, especially if you're making potatoes of some sort and you just need some kind of flavor. You put some duck oil in there and then you saute the home fries. There she is. Oh, no. Where are you at? Quit telling on me. There we go. I saw you. Run. Why is this bird marking me, though, you fuck freaking bird? Okay. Did I lose it? Oh, man. Did you die, too? Oh, man, so it's just me. Oh, Shiza, now I gotta find the exit. Okay, so how would I find the exit? Okay, so I still got to open that thing, y'all. I saw it was that way. I hope I find it. Soul survivor right now, guys. Oh man, why? You heifer. Dang it! I was so close. Oh, I hate you. To the tips of your toes. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm-mm, y'all. I thought I could do it. But at least this time I was the last survivor. <laughs> Uh, and that was the end of it for me. Anyways, so back to it. Oh, you know what, though? I've had duck before I made the duck confit. And I had duck confit at someone's house in New York City. I was visiting, and we had it. And it was delectable. I almost wanted to go in his refrigerator and open up the the the... What are those things, those canning jars? Uh, ball, I guess, was his version. But I wanted to go in there and get some of that meat right back out because it was so delectable. You guys, but, you know, because it was somebody else's house, of course, I didn't go back in the refrigerator. But I was tempted, and if he was kinfolk, I would have. I would have opened it. I would have spooned some out into a skillet and sauteed it. It's great with green beans. It's great with potatoes. It's good if you want to have that meat and you want some meat on a salad, like that confit meat is great on a salad. And then you can, like I said, you can sit there and eat. And um, man, that just is some sad business. But I almost did it. Um, I was the last man standing though. But yeah, so good, so good. I think we're talking ourselves hungry. Dang it, I literally look for five seconds and... <laughs> what are you trying to say? All right, so I've got 12, 3, 20, and let me see here. Oh, okay, guys, so I think that once I've got myself redone here, I may have to go ahead and, and, and let you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. I've just realized it's like late 30 a little bit, and I've got to get ready for tomorrow and work. 
I am so glad you guys are here. Amy, I'm glad that we were able to help you get your, your appetite going a little bit. Um, hopefully it'll get you to tear that salad up and maybe a little bit of the breakfast that your hubs made. Um, but anyway, so I'm really glad that you guys are here. Uh, for those of you who are in the living or not in the living room, but looking on my Facebook page, don't forget to like, uh, follow, subscribe or share. And if you're looking for Facebook, Twitch, or, uh, YouTube, I'll be there. So anyway, uh, I love you guys. Thank you again for making my night such a wonderful night. I'll see you guys on Wednesday at 8 or 9 or 10. I guess 10 for Amy. But uh, anyway, muchos besos to you guys. Mwah! Have a great night, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Hmm, let me see if I can click over. <laughs> but anyway, guys, mwah! have a good night.